I believe that God is something that's, it's not something that you can grasp, it's not something that you can get from a book or get from someone else, it's who you are, it's what you are, and the way that you can experience it is by expressing it, and so that's what devotion is about, that's what bhakti is about. You get ex direct experience of God by expressing it, and um, and I do it in a way that just there's no dogma attached to it. As much as I do my best to at least be that empty vessel, and and I make it so it's free. There's no there's no rules that you can just come and you come along and you feel like wow, this, I'm a part of this, a part of something, and I'm being. You know, honored and respected for who I am and where I am at and what I believe and I can contribute to this in any way I feel in dance you can come and s you can come and sit right beside me and make a big hoo-ha if you want to and and be fully seen uh, and that's I love that that's that's what I feel my mission is giving music and devotion back to the people these circles or what I, the space that I'm holding, it's, it's really, I'm giving it to them, I'm giving it to the people that come and participate and it's really up to them how much they are willing to let go and, and, and engage and participate in that devotion and I see my role um, as, as someone who is giving back devotion to the people that has been kind of in a way taken away from them by the elaborate ceremonies and and rituals and things that that our priests and our gurus and our teachers have kind of made in the temples and, and where people become more passive so they go to the church or the temple and they don't they don't um, participate as much anymore it's all the domain of the priests and um, and I feel that even though that has its place, originally we would have come together to celebrate and, and be in devotion to the source together. The challenge can be, you could be a, at a new place and you've just arrived and you've unpacked your guitar and there's a, a room full of one or two hundred people and sometimes they're wondering, who is this guy? You really have to then open your heart and and light that flame and and hopefully ignite the others i'll connect with someone you know um but firstly i probably connect with myself and just go inside and and let go of all the um, ideas that i have about what they think of me and just realize get in touch with the mission which is like i'm here to connect to the source and share that journey with others and i i so I, I align myself with my mission and then when I open my eyes I'm in that space and then I can connect with someone who's willing to do that and then together we form a relationship and then, then someone else in the room is kind of like popcorn, you know, <laughs> starts going off or not and I don't phase myself about it, I, I just accept that this is, this is my path and and if we can open the space and open the heart a little bit, then it's worth it. And if we touch one or two people, it's still worth it. If the whole room ignites and, um, and everyone is deeply moved and touched, then that's really worth it too.